hello guys welcome back to my channel we are back again on this segment we are still tackling what is it daughter mother toxic difficult relationships yes i think in the last two videos i start talking about that and then digress to so many things and then we come back to it and so yeah then i was talking about you know how my relationship with my daughters is and yeah I, it's something i will always treasure um mostly or most that i've seen where there's like a generational occurrence of difficult relationships where we don't break the cycle where we don't as they say break the curse okay so for an example you know i don't know the details because my mother and I never had a close relationship, okay? Because, you know, it was never an engaging relationship. It was more like a, a an instructive relationship. Do this, do that. If you don't, you know, that kind of thing. But I don't, like, have memories of this beauty, um, you know, where a mother is, you know, with the daughter, you know, sharing life and, you know, heart to heart and things like that. But I do believe, ultimately, it's got very um, little to do with me. What I understand all the years about it, as I come to learn, as I've been forced to learn about it, um, is that my mother claims to have had a very difficult relationship with her mother, my grandmother. Now, of course, nobody's going to dispute that because that is her experience, right, with her mother, okay? Although I can tell you that it's weird because that very mother is the one that... I will say, you know, was a mother to me, okay? I'm not saying this is not impossible because this is my mother's experience. Although, like for an example, I can say my grandmother had how many children? Um, six children, okay? And yes, I have not interviewed them, but I have from a distance, can't say intimately, but from a distance kind of observed the relationship. So my grandmother, from my perspective, my experience, somebody can say if I'm wrong, I mean, I wouldn't know. And again, I know her as a grandparent, which is always a different dynamic <clears throat> to a parent, okay? So, my grandmother was this um, how do I explain her? Um, but the most sweetest respectful um, caring okay caring um, person that I've ever come across even when I was pregnant she was the one taking care of me because my mother basically like discarded of me 
you know, like, well, not like, it's just like, she didn't know how to act. She didn't know how to act. You know, she just like pretended I didn't exist the entire time I was pregnant. You know? <laughs> um, and I, I don't make her to be a horrible person. No, 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 no. That's not what I mean at all. If you just get the theme of what I'm saying, I'm just saying that something is lacking in her emotional being. You know, there's a disconnect there. Now, as I say this, you know, I can contextualize it academically, you know, to say, okay, now, as you can see, I put it out and I'm like, okay, so I can see this is what happened. I think this is why she acts like this. Okay. But at the end of the day, I don't care. Do you, do you get, I'll explain why I'm saying that. I'm saying at the end of the day, those things don't matter because at the end of the day, as I'm her child, I still demand her to be there for me emotionally. So it is not my job to heal her inner child. Do you understand what I'm saying? That is her job to do. And just because I understand that her inner child was wounded, it is not for me because I will be damaging myself if I have to say, oh, no shame, I understand. She is so horrible to me because, you know, she had a hard time. No, no, I may not do that because then I will be abusing myself when I do that. Sometimes I do have bouts of like saying, okay, I know who I'm dealing with, but no, I decided that no, 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 let me not understand this thing because it's no excuse. How, when is she going to be forced to learn to mother? Yeah? I'm not here to mother you because now you are giving me the job to mother you because now I have to feel sorry for you. No, no, no. It's not my job to do that. Your job is to be my mother and that is to love me and that is to support me and not the other way around. So you have toppled the roles because now you make me a mother. I cannot play that role for you. It's not fair on any child. Okay, so... And hence, I had to disengage. I had to disengage with my mother because it was going to be hurtful to my inner being, to my health, to my everything. Okay. So as I was still saying, um, my grandmother had many other children and girl children and she was in my books anyway maybe because obviously for me I just longed for any kind of affection from a mother right so obviously maybe people will say that ah you know it's because obviously you know you were longing for that maybe that's it but how I experienced my grandmother. I mean, I, I have memories of my grandmother where, you know, I would go with her to town and, you know, we would, she would buy apples for me and we would sit and have fish and chips and, you know, it was, and, and I don't have any such memories with my mother. I don't. No, that's a fact. I don't. 
the memories that are overarching my relationship with my mother are those of abuse, verbal abuse, physical abuse, um, emotional abuse. Okay, maybe let me explain because now I'm talking a lot of words and then people are going to be like, what is verbal abuse? You know, um, and, and as I narrate the story, this is not to bash my mother. She is who she is. It's fine. But, you know, this is now for me, for my healing, okay? It's my story, okay? And, and it's definitely not to bash her, but it's just stating facts as I narrate them from my point of view, from my experience. You know, you know, when I say verbal, I mean my mother was a shouty. She shouts, she swears. You, she swears, she shouts. No filter. You know, if she's around here, you just hear her shouting, 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 shouting. I'm talking, I'm telling you about my experience. And she's consistent about it because she's still doing it today. She's still doing it today with her grandchildren. You know, she usually they say you mellow. Um, she's still, obviously I can see she has mellowed a little, okay, but it's still there. I mean, I can see how, you know, my sister's child, you know, like she is so rattled by her and, you know, my heart cringes. My heart goes out to that child because when that happens to her, it like literally re-traumatizes me because I can remember, you know, when that was done to me because, you know, she... She, you know, it's like a hostage situation when she's in the room because it's like, ah, you're not doing this right. Oh, 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 get, 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 you know, it's like, oh, it's, it's like you can never do anything right. You, you can never, ever do anything right. She's never satisfied about anything. And she's consistent about that. Um, even as I grew today, today, today. Um, nothing would be just good enough for her. You can schmooze her, you can send her flowers, you can um, give her money on hand, you can buy groceries, boots for. Never satisfied, never satisfied, no, never grateful, you know? And so unfortunately maybe your mother is you know grateful my grandmother was grateful i mean and so people like that you love to do things for them my mother i was forced to you know do things for her because she's my mother until i decided no not anymore do you know what i mean because like no i'm not going to be held hostage like that okay so my grandmother you know it was Whatever, you know, I gave her, oh, Mdanam, oh, Mdanam, you can just see, she's just so grateful. You know, it, it is wonderful to be able to give to someone like that. But my mother, on the other hand, is entitled. I don't know entitled to what. I don't know entitled to what because how. If anyone should be entitled is my grandmother because that woman... I remember when I finished my trick and I said to my mother, okay, so I want to go to university. She says, I, I, I don't have money for that. I must go work. Yeah. And here was I, my friends were excited going to varsity and I couldn't because she was just not interested because my advancement in career was not top of her mind. And then 
you know, my grandmother would. From her handkerchief, I can remember, she used to tie it in her first coat. She would take out that money and money from her pension and pay for my tuition fees. When I was doing a computer course, my grandmother, huh? Huh? Oh, I loved that woman. So, you know, so my mother has not invested in me emotionally and otherwise. Of course, she gave birth to me. And people think giving birth to people is a be all and end all. No, it is not. It is not. Let's stop the lies. Okay? No, 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 no. You're not going to hold us hostage just because you give birth. How okay? Give birth to what? Hmm? Do I just breathe? You live on oxygen? No emotional support? Eh, where the, you know, physical things happened, like clothing, food, but that is not all that a child needs. Emotional presence, being there. Eh, well, I get it. She couldn't give me something she does not have. But be that as it may, it did happen or it did not happen to me. So what do you want me to do? Must I discard of my own feelings and pretend that it did? No, I'm not going to do it. I refuse to do that. I will acknowledge that because for me, that is the first part to healing. And actually, this has helped me a lot because I see a lot of people, my friends, struggling. Why? They have not come to accept because they're still living in a fairy tale of whom they wanted their mothers to be, which they will never be. And they're still living a dream. And every time they get disappointed because their mothers never love them, they don't love them, and they keep on showing them that they don't care for them, and yet they keep on abusing them. I was like, no, 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 no. I've seen that thing a long time ago. And even when I was still, you know, doing for my mother, I knew then that this woman does not love me. But okay, it's fine. I've accepted that. Now I just do what is within my means for her. But I have really put her there, you know, until she really did the things. And I was like, you know what? I actually don't need to be even doing this for you because really now you are taking it a bit far, right? Because as far as I'm concerned, this should not even be happening. But, you know, I was just trying by all means to be a good daughter to you. But if you are going to behave like this, I'm sorry to say, I'm not going to continue. And yes, people can come for me. I don't care. Because you have your own issues with your own mothers that you, you know, because people, it's so easy for them to come for somebody else. And the reason why you would come for somebody else is because of your own issues that you have not dealt with. Because you're still living your own fairy tale because you know that your own relationship with your mother is not what you want it to be. It's just like you just perpetrating a dream and a fairy tale but it's very harmful to you it's very harmful to you i have you know other can't call them friends but acquaintances people that i know whom they had a very oh my goodness a very difficult like this is the height like seriously my mother, in my books, of course, she's bad. Let's call it what it is, my experience. But these people's relationship, this is a mother and a daughter. And the, the you know, it's like the three generation is like the daughter, her mother and the daughter's daughter. They're living all together. And yo, this woman, hi, 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 yabona, yena. 
if you just look at the things that she did my mother is a tea party my god hi she's a tea party how this one she did the things we are diva yo toxic toxic the lowest level or highest i don't know lower than shark shit eh lower than shark shit this one i she did the things oh this daughter shame ah ngosiam she would complain the mother the mother the mother the mother oh this mother this mother this mother i'll tell the story another day but anyway long story short not getting into it the mother died hmm the mother died and hmm i can just imagine the trauma that these people are going through you know because you've never dealt with these issues so important to call the thing what it is because when a person is dead eh there's nothing more you can do there's nothing more you can do i feel like anyway in my own way i don't know if there is another way but i mean i think we'll see that when we get to it you know because in my understanding na i have made peace you know with the fact that my mother never loved me my mother does not love me because obviously a person a mother men i i don't even want to start recounting ukuthi <laughs> if your mother does this to you if your mother does not do this to you then it means that she does not love you i can unequivocally tell you that my mother is not ringing of love to me but that is also fine you know because you know i've done and read up on these things and done some deeper searching um spiritually and you know academically you know to find out you know what is the story okay so the brief of it is that i can never know right because she herself does not know because you know if somebody is never going to admit to actually to a point where you know she will say okay my child i can see that i have not been the mother that you deserve you know like this is like a starting point with someone where there's going to be a possibility of a healing so if a person is like so toxic that you know you just like shut them off because like you literally have to disengage with someone like that because it's going to be a never ending you know situation it always comes back to the same toxicity and you know all of this so yeah i i i do believe on some other level it's um you know like you know people talk of uh, past traumas whether you believe past trauma to be you know you know past as in her past traumas that she has gone through as a child maybe things that happened to her um things that did not happen to her um her failures everything you know all those things that are projected to me you see because i do believe uh, some most most of what she's bringing on to me is her own stuff be that as it may she should not be doing that okay but the point is when people don't want to learn you see because she's not a caliber of a person that you you know you can teach them anything you know so you just they must stay wherever okay or 
are we talking past trauma in the sense of you know people believe that you know people have lived a life before this life you see what i mean and so uh, during the life that you've lived in some many many years before whatever reincarnation blah de blah de blah that um you know hence the difficulty with our relationship so you know on all the levels on all the levels i've made peace with it and so i as i speak today i'm i'm okay um by not having a relationship with my mother i've mourned it you know when you you know i've done all the things that you know they would suggest i have uh had counseling uh you know professional uh you know psychologist counseling and you know i've done you know um what is this new thing this um personal coaching you know um i've read up on uh, you know this uh in a childhood in a child uh, trauma things and you know all sorts of things that i've read and and i've done journaling i've you know prayed you know i've i've done all the things that um are suggested um but of course the proof is in the pudding right <laughs> the proof is in the pudding we can do all these things um you know other people will say ah ah you will never uh, get over your mother well i don't know maybe not but i feel right now that i'm fine okay so let me be fine okay unless you don't want me to be fine but i am fine and i'm happy for you that you have a great relationship it's supposed to be great okay but can you for a moment understand that mine is not great can you at least reserve a little bit of compassion for me <laughs> that you know i would love that beautiful situation that you have but it's not mine okay and um you know i've mourned her and 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 when i say that um of course um some anger right residual some residual anger because i never want to dismiss my anger or pretend because then when you do that then you become like a uh, the worst kind of abusive person when you are passive aggressive um i don't like that so if you have anger show it stamp your feet and and be angry and show like act angry when you are angry you know that's me that's like how i believe life should be so don't be acting all fine because it's bloody dangerous when you do that so hence with me you will know if i'm good i'm good if i'm not good i'm not good and i'm not going to make like i am good no 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 that's not how it works i'm not fine i'm not fine so you better be able to read the room i've always been like that but obviously you know in life of course we have to um integrate and be flexible and you know so it's not a situation of oh so me i will always act the way i feel no 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 not all the time i mean there are countless of times where i have to hold back um i you know i can regulate myself i shall say um yeah i think i am doing that very well i mean I am what turning what 46 this year. Um I am in not in I've never been diagnosed of any mental illness. I'm not taking any uh medication for mental whatever. Obviously not suggesting that 
people who are taking medication, there's something wrong with them. No, it's actually very good. The dangerous ones are us who are not on any medication. <laughs> so, so it's fine. No, no, no. But I'm just like saying that I think I'm fine and I'm able to regulate myself. Um, you know, I am in a long-term relationship. I am married for 13 years now. I am in this relationship for, give or take, 26 years, you know, the same man, okay, so yeah, I should be okay, I think I'm fine, okay, not that if you're not married or not in a, you know, steady relationship, there's something wrong with you, no, just to, telling about me, how I'm gauging myself and you know, I I don't have bouts of madness. I mean, I my family knows I I can go ballistic, um, but that is not without reason. It would have been that I have spoken calmly. I have counselled. I have educated and done all the necessary things and then when people just like you know then then I get mad all right because I'm a human being I have emotions I have anger although I regulate it you know mostly but yeah um so 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 yeah so yeah guys I am saying a lot and then I forget my trail of thought but um, yes what I was going to say is that I've even gotten to a point where I'm saying you know what as the relationship is so oh well there is no relationship now that's for sure, with my mother. And for me, <laughs> you know, a mother, you know, no, you tell me, a mother who's going to be like fine to not talk to their daughter. I mean, is it my job? No, are you not the mother? It's not me. I'm not your mother. You are my mother. Okay. That's how it is. So if you are any mother, and you know there's a problem with your daughter whom you value uh, i'm sure you're going to be angry to a point but as a mother you're going to get off your high horse and say to your daughter this madness needs to stop now okay but i mean <laughs> the mother that i have never the arrogance the Oh, no, 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 no. So, no, it's not my job to resuscitate that relationship. And if she ever, which I don't, I don't, I don't, like, it, it, there's no, like, glimmer of hope, you know. And mostly... Even myself, I can say, I don't want it anymore. I actually, I've put it to bed. I don't want it. But I'm saying, there is no ways that, you know, I will ever allow for a relationship with her to happen without, you see, because for them, that generation, they believe that, you know, things can be messed up and then people must just be like, oh, let's forget about it. I'm like, no, no, that's not how it works. We, we're not going to do that. We, we're not going to forget about it, okay? Because for me, that is a bloody landmine. I'm not walking on landmines. So no, no, no.
at your ripe age, if ever you felt any glimmer of wanting to ever do anything, it would have to be proper, proper channels. I don't know what, but yo, me, I'm not a high shame. No, I've seen. And I'm not going to willingly go there again to be burned. And people, you know, think I'm vile when I say today, I said, you know, if somebody told me my mother died tomorrow, honestly, this is the honest truth because you see, God knows my innermost thoughts. So it's pointless for me to be telling lies like it's such a pointless thing. So I'd rather speak my truth. Whether you like it or you don't, it's not my business. I'm telling you what I'm feeling truthfully. And I'm saying that if I get that call tomorrow, because, okay, now remember this. Ne? When your parent dies, uh, there's something that happens, obviously, to you that is not controlled by me or whatever, whatever. No matter how much kind of control I have, over my emotions or whatever, whatever, whatever. There's something deeper, spiritual, you know, that I have no knowledge of that happens. But now I have no knowledge of that. But I'm saying to you, myself, I don't even think like I will shed a tear. But maybe if I do, like if I think about it, if I do shed a tear, it will be relief. Um, for myself, for her, for her. Do you know what? Because ultimately, you know, no matter what people believe, it is not pleasing for me to see her in that state that she's in because it's not healthy. So it's like, for me, if she dies, you know, it's like, oh, She's at peace now because she does not know peace. She's never been at peace with her life. So it's like, oh, God, thank you. You know, now she's at peace. Maybe it will be those tears, but it's not going to be tears of, I don't know what people cry for when people die, okay? Because for me, generally, I think differently about death anyway. So I... Yeah, it's weird for me. You know, death is not for me something that brings sorrow. No, 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 no. I, I'm not sorrowful with death. Death is like, for me, it's beautiful. Um, it's where I feel like someone is at peace. If I, if I cry at, you know, somebody dying or it's because it's happiness, right? Is it weird? But that's how I am. So I will have peaceful tears because I'm happy, like, because I feel good feelings for this person because I had a beautiful relationship with that person, but I cannot cry for horrible people. No, I won't. I, I don't have those tears. I, I don't know how to explain it to you, but, like, that is that is how... I feel about death. Um, death for me is part of life. It's like full circle of life is when, you know, people come to themselves. And so there's nothing sorrowful about it. It is, um, it's a peaceful place for me. It's a peaceful place. That is why me and my family are like very different, are like miles apart when it comes to death because that is not how I see death. Um, I think obviously, I don't know, anyway, let's not get into that. But yeah, and please subscribe, like, share the video, tell me what you think of all the rubbish that I am talking but I'm feeling relieved now 
and I just saw my family leaving. Don't know where they're going. Okay. Um, so yeah, this was a good session. I enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it. Please talk to me. Tell me what made sense to you uh, from what I'm saying. Um, am I losing my mind? <laughs> no, I know I'm not. Okay, so I'm fine. Um, I'm just um, maybe different to you, but that's also good. I always say, oh, thank God. You didn't make more people like me because then the world can't go around, you know. Um, so, yeah. Thank you, guys. Have a fabulous day. Do subscribe to the channel. And thank you to all of you for listening. And uh, have a fabulous day. Bye.